let's raise the domain functional level. Actually, we're not going to raise it, but I'm going to show you how to raise it. We'll click on Start. We'll go to the Administrative Tools. Now, there are a couple of places you can do this, and I just want to show them to you. And we will start off, let's go to Active Directory Users and Computers first, and I'll show you this one. Now, if I want to raise the domain functional level, all I have to do is open Active Directory Users and Computers, so I have to go to a domain controller. Click on the domain level here. Notice vtc.class is my domain. Right-click it, and you will notice I can raise domain functional level. Now, if I click on this, notice it's telling me, dude, you're already at server 2008. Now, this is not really an oversight on my part, right? We never have those. But if you remember, when I installed Active Directory, it asked me, did I, you know, was I going to have any server 2003 or 2000s? And I said, no, just when the server 2008. So I actually installed or created my domain and my forest at server 2008 level. If I could raise this, there would have been a drop-down box here, and I could choose it. So no big deal. So you may see that on yours. Now let me show you the other way to do this. Now that just gets me the domain functional level. But if I click on Start, go back into Administrative Tools, and this time I go to Domains and Trusts. And I will go into Domains and Trust. And now you'll notice that if I right-click on the domain, you will see that I can raise the domain functional level. It takes me to exactly the same place. Then, if I right click on the very top up there where it says Active Directory Domains and Trusts, and then it has the name of my computer and the domain, if I left click here and then right click, you will notice I can raise the forest functional level. And again, I am in Active Directory Domains and Trust. And when I click on this, it looks just the same. The only difference right here, it says Raise Forest Functional Level and the current Forest Functional Level Server 2008. Again, I would see a drop down if I was at Server 2003 or Server 2000. I could just choose it, click OK. It will ask me, are you sure you can't undo this, you can't go backwards? And once I'm sure, then I'll click OK, and it will raise it. So raising these is very easy. Making the decision to do that can be somewhat intimidating because you can't go backwards. And once I raise it to server 2003, then I can no longer have any Windows 2000 domain controllers in my domains. And if I do it at the forest level, I can't have them in my forest. So read up on this. You will see this stuff on the exam. They will ask you in some fairly bizarre ways about this, and you'll just have to understand that if you don't see certain functionalities, it's probably because your domain functional level has not been set or is not at the right setting for what you're trying to do. So read up on it. I've given you a lot of information here in three or four videos. Good luck with functional levels on the exam.